This video will demonstrate how to use the Closest Match VLOOKUP. Now you'll notice from the screen that I've got a series of student names with results which need to be turned into grades. And these grades are going to be worked out from the table array just here in columns G and H. Now you'll notice that the marks extend from a zero through to beyond 95. This is the main difference between the exact match and the closest match. If you were using an exact match VLOOKUP, if you had a mark, say, of 33, it would return an NA error. With the closest match, if you have a mark of 33, if that particular mark is not reached, it drops back to the lower value. So in other words, any mark between 0 and 34 will return a fail. Any mark between 35 and 59 will return an E. Any mark between 60 and 69 will return a D. You'll also notice that within this table array, the first column has been sorted in ascending order. Now, that is absolutely mandatory for this type of fee lookup. If it is not sorted, it will no doubt return an NA error. So, firstly, I'm going to insert the VLOOKUP within cell C3. I'm going to type in equals VL. As the VLOOKUP has been selected, I'm going to press tab, and this takes me into the beginning of the VLOOKUP function. Now, the lookup value for this particular mark is in cell B3. So I'm just going to move my mouse one cell to the left, type in comma, and then going to select the table array, which is going to be from G2 down to H8. I want to make sure this cell reference is an absolute, so it's fixed into place. To do this, I'm going to press F4, and that will ensure that when I actually copy this formula going down the page, that cell reference will not move. I need to type in another comma. The actual column index number I'm after is, of course, column 2. The student marks in column 1, the grades are in column 2, so I need to just type in the number 2, comma, and then finally I'm going to end this up with a true. Now, in this case, for this type of VLOOKUP, I don't actually need that last argument. I can omit it completely. So end the function after I've typed in the two. However, if you do put a true in, it just indicates to other people who are looking at your VLOOKUP that this is what you intended to do. So from here, I'm going to press Enter. Click on the cell C3. Double click on the crosshairs. And that will take that particular function all the way down to the bottom of this set of data. 